this has happened a lot in the last few years. It's happening again right now, where the public is so fixated on a certain divisive polarizing issue that anything you say gets put through the filter of that sides taking. So often the two polarized sides are not actually in disagreement on a deep level. They're both taking something for granted that isn't true. So I like to point at that deeper thing, and I might not be able to do that directly. I am purposely not taking a public stand on one side or another of the debate, as it is called, or the issue, because who decides that that is the issue Mm -hmm. that everyone should focus their attention on? And what gets left out when we focus on the thing that the news tells us to focus on, when we buy into their idea of what's important and what is not? I know that your your show is a lot about empowering women. Well, guess who has been considered not important for an awful long time? Not only because of your biological sex, but because of the kinds of emotional, spiritual orientation that women typically have. Like those in the patriarchy are considered unimportant. Maybe I'll just go back to non binary beings and so forth. It's another one of these divisive things that it's almost designed to get people really angry at each other. It taps into a deeper patterning, which is you could call it personal blame or the concept of fault and the concept of right and wrong. Non binary folks have been oppressed and persecuted in a lot of ways for a long time. And for people of compassion and conscience, that hurts. We want to validate their choices. And it's like the only way we know how to do that culturally is to normalize or draw some broader principle, some big intellectual construct about binaryism in the abstract, and to try to make sense of it all in some moral framework. This is one of the things that's tearing society apart. By establishing some moral principle, then you're going to put other people outside of that moral principle and make them wrong. You know, in the whole trans issue, you have a lot of women, a lot of gay people feeling themselves really marginalized and invalidated by the new ideology. And so then they start fighting with each other. Meanwhile, the planet proceeds toward ruin. Again, it's like this issue of what gets left out, what is not talked about when we focus on the hot button issues and what defines these issues and what what power channels so much of our psychic energy toward these contentious issues. 